Hey guys, it's Gladys back here once again. Thank you for joining me here to react to your suggestions and my picks. Today I'm going to be doing a band that I have never heard of and a song I've never heard, obviously. Um, I've never heard this band at all. The only reason that I have them on my list of personal research items is because I had seen them mentioned on Reddit, on the metal subreddit. Um, so I have an idea. Obviously this is going to be some kind of metal. But it was spoken very highly of in some comments that I had seen. I put it on my research list months ago and never got around to listening to it. And I figured today on the ride home I was going to go go ahead and listen to it. And then thought, well, I might as well do a reaction. I'm going to have some kind of reaction. So let's go ahead and record it just for fun. Why not? Just for kicks. Um, as always, I'm going to be asking for you guys' comments to suggest further songs for me to do. Let me know what you think of this track as well. Uh, but... In any case, as always, thank you guys for spending some time with me and hanging out. So let's get to this. This is a band called Varenth. It's V-R-E-N-T-H. Varenth. I'm kind of putting like a V-A-R sound to it. So maybe Varenth. Just quick. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, this song is called Graveyard of Lost Souls. So sounds pretty spooky. Who knows what we're in for? I don't know. But let's react. Let's do this. gonna stop it we're a minute and a half in um wow this is bringing me back to like the the 90s death metal scene is what this sounds like um this was released in 2020 as far as i know so this is very recent but man they really nailed that old school death metal sound like a uh, grave and dismember and even you know like bands like bloodbath that came back around to to renew the old school death metal sound um the sounds in that same vein so I'm, I'm impressed that they managed to nail that sound so specifically for me um guitars are fun so far they're not super complex but it's um uh, it's just a, a chugging like can't help it you know bob my head to it um it's got a great pace so far it's keeping the same beat throughout even with some riff changes um there's a cool little solo in there but it's just got such an ambiance to it it's got such a an atmosphere of just like putridity you know like i don't know that maybe it's the album artwork that's given me some some visual as well as audio here with the song but just a a real like vile 90s death metal sound to this band so this is great so far let's see what else we have in store
So I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to ruin the, the slower part right there. But just when they, like I said, they were building up for that one spot, right? They they got to like this, this mid pace, like just it slowed it down, but it was it was steady and it just made more of a powerful impact there. Um, that was just really cool. So um, I don't know, like if, if how the viewer mix is for my channel here and, and for the songs that I've been selecting. Um, but if you guys are fans of death metal and especially the old school death metal, like I said, you know, grave dismember, um, I'm hearing bits of like morbid angel. Um, these guys have got it. They have nailed this sound. And this is just one song off of what I expect to be a whole album worth of music like this. Um, great stuff, just great ambiance and atmosphere to it. It sounds like it's recorded in low quality, but it's almost definitely not. These are just effects and filters that they put on it. So it's old school death metal with a, a new school production value, uh, but the same same old flavor. Um, this is just really, really good, like mid pace type of stuff. It's not blast beats. You know, it's not that da, 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 the whole time through. Um, it's not even so much like thrash beats that do, 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 um, they they switch it up to where they're changing paces here. They have that great build up into that mid pace section and really cool like dual solo going on the hard left and right, um, just really cool stuff going on so far. So I'm very impressed. Uh, we're about halfway through, so hopefully I can get through the rest of this without yapping. Let me <laughs> see if we can do this. We got a little over two and a half minutes left, so let's try to get through this. Okay, so I loved it. Um, this is a great discovery for me. So I'm a I'm a big fan of a lot of different types of metal. Um, death and thrash are my two main, you know, death metal like being probably my my foremost with my experience. Uh, but all kinds of metal is welcome for me. Um, these guys. I can't say it enough. They just really, really nailed that sound of like the really, really old, 
like first wave of like where death metal started to really really get its sound um i'm hearing like a lot of influences here but this sounds just like a love letter to that time period and for those bands and it's just awesome to hear you know because over the years now this the sound that they're hitting is like from around 30 years ago in my mind and it was just a great time for music and a great time for metal and really expanding the boundaries on you know what was acceptable at the time you know um the early 90s was like a very tumultuous period for for music and and for metal in particular and um that these guys just can instantly bring me back here in just a, a five minute snippet. And I'm remembering all these other bands that sound like that too. Just very well done. And that, that main riff that they closed with and that they open with the din and 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 just awesome. That sounds so like it's got such an, an ambiance to it. Like such a like vile and like demented type of sound. Like, I don't know much music theory, so I can't tell you, you know, if that's minor chord or if it's it's anything like that, but just that phrase, like if you played that on like a synthesizer or on like an organ or something like that, it would sound demonic as shit. And being distorted in the guitars, you know, obviously you can still get the same type of effect, but that's just such a classic like doomy type of riff. Um, I gotta love it, man. I really, really do. I like that they, they started quick. They went to a mid to like slow, back to mid, and ran right back to fast. So it just, it was a nice, you know, starting up on the roller coaster, dropping it down, taking a break. They did a ton of solos in there too, which like death metal is hit or miss. Like there's some death metal bands that never play a solo in their entire career. There's other death metal bands that will play it all the time. Um, so I don't know how frequent in their discography you've got any type of solos featured or not but if if i counted them out it was probably like four or five different solos here each guitarist on each side if they have two guitarists um they each got their time to shine um just really really cool man i really really love this old school flavor of death metal there's just something like pure about it you know they don't try to do too much but they do enough to where it's not boring there was enough switches there was enough solos to keep those slower paced stuff from getting boring um they just this i'm aw like i'm not awestruck but like it was it was great this is awesome this is a great find for me i'm very very happy with this um wow just <laughs> it's always awesome finding a new band and like to to love a, a track initially this month or this this way just right out of the blue for me rarely happens too nowadays so um awesome find very happy to find this um, if you guys have any suggestions or you have any thoughts on this band, this track, please let me know. Um, in the meantime, I will be continuing with either your suggestions or songs that I pick out that I've been meaning to check out and get to. But every song that I do pick on these uh, reaction videos are going to be songs or bands that I have not heard. Uh, it could be either or. But in the meantime, guys, please leave a comment, suggest something new for me, or let me know what you think of this band, this song. Um, and I want to thank you once again for spending your time with me and hanging out for a little bit. So until next time, I'll see you guys later. Take care.